Let's go. Chat, I fucking did it all by myself. Isn't that sick? Alright, swap data. Dude. I'm swagging out. Mario Peach vs. Medley gonna be crazy? I know. That is crazy. That's a three hour set right there. Oh, you guys don't know what's happening. There's some rumbling downstairs. I think there's a concert happening. Yeah, there's a concert happening downstairs. This is... It is rumbling in here. Dude, I feel the bass between my toes. Joe will win ma every matchup. Who's Joe? Wait, Joe Mama! Oh, no! Oh, I fell for that one. Oh, no -y. Oh, no -y. Joe Mama! I know, Joe Medley. Joe Medley. Dude, AGO kind of goes beast mode. But he was, like, telling me that, like, Fox Falco's easy. I think Fox wins. I don't think it's easy, bro. Dude, sometimes I go to running Shine Falco. Like, running Double Shine and E-Spot dodges both of them. I don't know what to tell you. It's hard. Dude, AGO is just kind of a menace to Toronto players. I don't know what it is. He just kind of, like... He's beaten Mar. He's beaten. He's beaten Goose Con. He's just kind of a beast. I don't know, but he just particularly pops off when he comes here. I don't know what it is. All right, Orin getting something started here. This is tough. Geo's kind of making it hard to like open him up, and Orin's just kind of dropping his combos, not hitting tech chases. Ugh. Probably the hours of driving, dude, he's contemplating. It's like when Canada, uh, when Duck had the buff versus Canadians, that is what it's like. Is AGO the new Duck? I think he is. Yeah, for some reason, Duck farmed us. It was never close. I think Ryan's been close a few times. David's definitely beaten him, but it was like, I feel like it was definitely positive for Duck. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. Um, I don't know. I always thought Duck was just a beast. His defense was really ahead of his time. Like, actually, like, if you go watch Duck VODs, like, it's actually kind of inspiring just how, like, good his defense was. It Like, his out-of-shield game was, like, almost perfect. I don't even know how to describe it. That guy was really good. He was one of my favorite players at one point. That's a Samus. Wowzers. Wowzers. We got a dub from AGO, game one. It's kind of kind of wild. I feel like this is a pretty big toss-up matchup. Like, slightly Orin favored, but I'm not surprised if Geo wins, to be honest. I feel like Orin just needs to clean up his, like, tech chasing here, and he's really not getting many openings. Like, Geo's making it really hard. He's just kind of, like, forcing himself in his face and getting stuff. Okay. Take laser, like, dash back up smash. Like, literally, up yep, bread and butter. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be wary of that. Good, uh... Good control of the stage there. Waiting for him to come back. Just getting a nice, clean back air as he's trying to get back on the stage. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right. Ooh. Dude, Orin, you're on Z-Jump, man. Dude, you know how easy it is to poke Falco's shield there with Shore Hop up there? It's kind of beast, man. Oh, my God. That was a little ridiculous. But, yeah, he has Z-Jump there, so you can just do Shore Hop instant up air. And then, like, you can poke Falco's shield basically every time. Because his feet are sticking out. It's actually, like, such a good extender on this stage. I actually thought he was going to land and he wouldn't be able to get the shine, but he, he was just in time. This game's going by quick. Z-Jump is so fun. You know, Z-Jump is something else, but uh, it definitely allows you to do some shenanigans like that. And I feel like Orin can be abusing it on this stage, but he's playing it really good otherwise. He's really like... His tempo has been really good this game. 
He's been finding a lot more openings. He's actually converting, getting good edge guards. We got a we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. We got a we got a set, in fact. All right, lights are off. Ooh, look at this lighting. This is so nice. Chat, this is intimate. I hope you know. Well, that's good, young Sheldon. This is such an intimate little little setup we got going. It's kind of beautiful. Do we know who won between Chilos, Tacos, and Medley? Oh, I'm losing to Chilos Tacos today, if he does. It's happening. Dude, did someone just set the mood in here? Is it just me? What? I'm just talking about the, the lighting just went dark. This oh, no, funny. I literally made the same joke. I was like, this is so romantic, chat. <laughs> this is such a, like, just, dude, it feels like I'm by candlelight right now. You light a few candles. <laughs> You're on a beautiful date. What? Oh man, this is yeah. fucking close, man. Is she drinking it or? This is a battle. Oh, this is a battle of two titans, honestly. How's this oh, set been so far, man? Weak hit. Mike, how's this set been? Uh, it's so it was pretty one-sided the first game for Geo, and it's pretty one was really one-sided for uh, Orin on really? the second game, yeah. Because it's looking like dead fucking even. Yeah, to be now, right now it's dead even. It's been a good set. Yeah, that's like, crazy. Orin adapted really well the second game. Like, he was able to get in a lot better. Like, it looks like Geo was just, like, stuffing every one of his approaches to yeah. start. And then uh, Orin was just able to, like, take laser, find openings that way, and just, like, actually get in better and finally convert. So, yeah. yeah it just looked like in the beginning he was having problems getting in, and now he's kind of dialed in. So, that was really good. Presence of mind there. Dude, that is over. Yeah. Over.com. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, uh, this is tough for Geo right now. Who did the overlay? It was Mono. With uh, was it, you and you and Shash helped, right? We just gave like criticism. Yeah, they gave it. tips and stuff. Uh, dude, it, it's really a collaborative effort here at. Dude, uh, the locals beast. The local gaming. All right, so when you see that happen.